Bob um, connection have you got with Bob? Okay. Um, when you worked at Rare Spares, Shirley, you worked, of course, in Bayswater. And Bob Brown managed that one? Yes, yeah. he was the manager. I, I met Bob lots of times there. Yeah. Always a lovely, a lovely man. A lovely man, yes. Lovely boss. <laughs> lovely boss. So you, you worked there from, what, the late um, 80s? Until 1962. I left in 1962. No, it couldn't have been 1962. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? Because 1962, I was three years oh, old. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. No, I was 62 years old. Oh, no, you were 62. <laughs> right, okay. That wasn't 1962. <laughs> Unless you were born in 1900. I, I hold my age well. <laughs> you do. So... You worked there, but from when did you start working there? Um, from the time that uh, Respers took over the shop. Um, Which is the, the late, late the, 80s? When did, when did you and David leave Campbell, um, Bay, Camp, Canterbury Road, Bayswater? Oh, and and Res yeah. took the shop over. 88 ish? What was that? Oh, I don't know now. 88 ish? When was the show exhibition? Oh. You, you, said that was 80, you said that was 1987. I think it, I think it was around then. Oh. Okay, so the late 80s, you end up working at Rares. Oh, hang on, it's... Um, looks, Is there a date? Like 94. Yes, okay, date. Is that 94? Correct. Yeah, the 31st 90. of the 5th, 1994. All the best, Shirley. Have a good retirement. Yeah, so I've been there for six... When I turned 62, so... Um, yeah, okay. So no. from the time Re Res took over the um, Bayswater sh uh, Spare Parts shop, uh, I went from Hughes Brothers to Res Spares okay. until I, uh, my 62nd birthday. Um, but you were supposed to retire technically at 60 by, yes, by law. By law, <laughs> and for my birthday uh, cake on the, on the day I turned 60, they, I was told uh, I didn't have to leave at 60, I could stay on if I wished to, so I stayed on <laughs> until I you couldn't were happy to do, that. do any more than yeah. uh, the long drive there and back was um, becoming too, and the traffic was coming too heavy for me to handle. Yeah, from uh, Warrandyte to, to Bayswater every day. And no, day. To, from Warrandyte to the head office. Oh, hang Canada. on, we're talking now head office, oh, we're crazy yeah. burn. Yes, no, Not Campbellfield. Campbellfield, okay. Uh, so well, I started off at Bayswater, yeah. and then I went to, um, they sent me off to um, uh, Campbellfield. Campbellfield. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not sure what year I went to Campbellfield, um, but I stayed there until I was 62 mm -hmm. when the drive became too heavy yeah, for yeah. me to handle. So I was there a few years. I was there a few years, mm -hmm. yeah. It was, it was my 60th birthday, they, I've been there for a couple of years anyway, and they said I didn't have to leave because I turned 60, mm -hmm. and I was another two years on top of that. So I'm not sure how long, but it was a, a, a lovely time in my life, actually, the job, and I liked the job and the people, and. Yeah. Well, what else can you have? Well, that's that's what it's all about. Yeah. And, uh, I guess so. You worked with Bob Brown and David Rayner. Is that yeah. Right? Well, David wasn't at the um, Campbell at the um, Bayswater shop very often. Um, he, he ended up. Yeah. Well, I worked with yeah. David Rayner at Campbellfield. So it's a bit mixed up, but mm. really, yeah. Mm. So that's um, that's proof of my. Um, no, what time there? It was all this. Um, mm -hmm. What's this one here say? What does that say there? Um, all that. Shirley Hughes. Yeah, that's got my name for that. And um, there's Bob Brown's on here. Welcome to the first social club. Is that right? Yeah, that was the first social club of various fairs on, in 95. Oh, there you go. Car Rally 95. Yeah, so I was at that. What a rev head. <laughs> You had a Tirana, didn't you? I used yeah. to see Tirana, beautiful little darling she was. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, loved it. And you had a station wagon, Al. What was your station wagon that you used to drive? 
What was that station wagon you had? Uh, HQ. HQ. Two, 253 V8. Right. Was a column shift? Yeah. Not yeah. an auto? Yeah. yeah. All right. Excellent it was. Let's have a show this one, mate. Look at this. Welcome to the first rear spare social club car rally 1995. There we go, Shirley Hughes. There you go. Well, there's um, all the boys at Bayswater and, and Rayma. That's from Bob Brown. Okay. And uh, there's another one from Bob. Rayma, there you go. That's his wife. Steve, yeah. Noddy, whoever Noddy is. Oh, he was. Um, <laughs> Shirley, we're turning your office into a compost pile. <laughs> All the best from the boys and Raymo at Bayswater. I can't find where Bob... Oh, here's Bob. Yeah. Again. Well, there's a Bob Brown signature yeah, too. Yeah, Bob Brown there and, and Bob there yeah. as well. So. It'll be hard, it will be hard to work in the air conditioning luxury of a... Uh, was it palatial head office? But I know you will suffer in silence. Best of luck. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, that's when they took me from um, Bayswater to Campbellfield. Okay, there's all the best from Ian, and there's a guy Steve here, so I don't know who they are. And that's dated 1992. Oh, All right. There you go. Yeah. How about oh, that? So I went over there 92 until. 94, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, longer than that because... Well, 95 even, it says there. Mm. Anyhow, whatever, it was a long time. Fair enough. Um, so they're good days for you. Oh, beautiful days, that's why I've kept them all. Absolutely. Yeah, it's so lovely to keep them. Oh, did they do it? <laughs> I get all excited. Well, that's a little I'm bit hard, hard, I'm sure they hardly noticed me. I don't think so. <laughs> you know. No, it's yeah. great. It's good. But they're lovely things to remember. And a lot of the Neil and all that, uh, they're all part of the lovely workforce that was there. And a big family, really. Mm. Yeah. Part, part of it was at Bayswater and part at Camfield. I've sort of mixed them in together. Uh, Yvonne, was it Yvonne? What, I can't, so her name's gone out of my head. Listen, um, she was um, she was the instigator of me going to Campbellfield because I, I used to do the book work of mm -hmm. uh, and um, she requested I I'll be sent to, uh, that I go to uh, Campbellfield because she needed someone else and she was wasn't Yeager was it? No, 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 no. Uh, Yvonne Stevens. There you go, Yvonne Stevens. Stevens, is that right? Yeah. Mhm. Mm okay. And um, um, she knew what I was like with figures and balancing things, all right. So she requested that I go to Campbellfield. That's how come I went out over there. Okay. They knew it was a long drive, but I at uh, only that younger than I was in sixty at that stage, so I could handle the drive a lot better. So this is now going back. 30 years, mm. 28 years now, or yes, so, right? Because if you're now 90, right? So we're talking 28 years ago when you were 62. Is that right? Is it 28 since I was 62? It doesn't yeah. seem very long. No, well, blink an eye. 90 very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. When, when you start going, <laughs> zoom, you're suddenly, you're suddenly, well, suddenly well, you're 90. Years. I mean, if you think about when you met me, in 1985, I was 25 going 26. Yeah. Oh, and now I'm 63. Baby. You're playing the golden wedding. Uh, I still, <laughs> still do. Still do. Um, I'm going to show you something while you're on there. Where's this? Where's my bag here? I'll show you this. Does this ring a bell? This is like a this is your life thing, isn't it? <laughs> um, here we go. Does this look familiar to you? Looking for everything except well, what you, I've got. Oh, it's in my car. This up to the I, camera, didn't you? I will in a second, but does this look familiar? Oh, oh yes, oh, the old, the old key rings. Like, yeah. The key rings. Yeah. Key rings. Yeah. And it says Bendigo Pottery, Victoria. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh. yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. This well is that. Done. I remember you call this Project Dominion. 
Yeah. You wanted to make a million of these and to, and to sell them. Yeah. Oh. Robin, you... Robin June is still making them. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Because you bought We've all these things the, got... and have to press them in and get the pictures. Yeah. And you sold cards. Yeah. yeah. Kind of greeting cards, which yeah. we've got. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know whether they, Yeah, there's a few in there, I think. Yeah, no, you gave me a few. And uh, at the car club, there were some signed ones. And they oh, yeah. so, so that was another project to try, yeah. And, yeah. try and keep you afloat. That's right. I remember yeah. that. But it uh, really didn't do the job. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it's just a lot of work. Yeah. You've got yeah, well, we tried many angles anyway, John. It wasn't... Uh, Entrepreneurs. We didn't have our tails between our legs mm. all the time. No, no. no I, I must say, only for this girl here, with her wonderful work, mm. what she put in over at various uh, Jews Brothers in Canterbury Road yeah. was absolutely astronomical. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. No, I so much appreciate oh, it. I've thank never, you. never been able to no, really, don't get it. really tell her in, you know, how much I thought of her for, for doing such a marvellous job for us. and working well, for a very small wages like the rest of us, but she was absolutely magnificent. Well, I enjoyed it. It was lovely working for you. Yeah. And still I <laughs> am really in a different way. Yeah, well, we've had 38 beautiful married years anyway. That's great to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Could have been so. 46 if you'd done it a bit yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> How long was the engagement again? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. you know, you've got, in many ways, you've got th things that some people never had. Yeah. You know, those, that, so that's, that's, the, that's mm. the, the joy of the, the journey. Yeah, yeah. The journey. it's been a wonderful journey, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so... It's, uh, it had its ups and downs, but more ups and downs. Well, that's good to hear. Well, it's inherited good. five beautiful Five beautiful daughters, daughters yes. Daughters, so yeah. I've been lucky. You've been very lucky. Very lucky. But then we've been lucky yeah. to have you people around yeah. to do this and then give us because, uh, this sort of thing, you know? Without Cheryl's help and June's help, you know, it, yeah. it, it would have been a lot harder. I think that that the the, the partnership in relationships yeah. is essential, you know, yeah. to survive anything mm -hmm. really. In, in, you know, yeah. so that's good to hear. I'm glad you've got that out. Yeah, and, um, <laughs> you know, it's almost like saying <laughs> I do all over again, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, John. Yeah. Well, that's my pleasure. You got a picture mm -hmm. to show uh, the guests. Oh, is it? Yes, John, gonna, there you are. Okay, that photo is, of course, hide, Cheryl. is a photo of, of your brother and yourself, David. Yes, in, the, in, in, the, in the, the shop. The shop where all the cars were made. Right. Now, if you just hold on to that, I'll zoom in on that, see if I can zoom in on that, just to make it a bit closer. Uh, if I remember how to zoom. Oh, here we are. Here we go. And I'm going to go a bit to the right. And I'll try and get it closer. That's a great photo, that, and that's taken in Warrandyte, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And do you know what year that might have been? I don't know. I don't no. think it's got it on the back. You look a bit younger there, Al. <laughs> I was a bit younger, yeah. No, you look I'm a bit thinner there, there too. I'm on my own two <laughs> feet. A bit of condition since You look a bit thinner there too. Yeah. <laughs> we've got another one. We've got one not thrown in the album. Do you want to get yeah. that out for John? Well, we can take photos of those things, but uh, that's that's a beautiful photo. That? Do you want We've got one of that. That photo was in the album. June gave you that. Yeah, yeah, I can't, can't let that go. No, but there's one... The, the yeah, well, there's... The, 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 the album's got a lot of fo different mm. photos in mm. it. We should have showed you a few of those. I well, what, what I could do is take actual separate photos with my camera of some yeah. of those and say, well, that sort of jazz. So in, in summary, I guess, you, you embarked on a huge project of love, yeah. didn't you, really? I mean, yeah. what you set out to do was to share something yeah. amazing for you, that you felt this was important yeah and you put your hearts and souls and mm. finances 
into, into it. it. Yeah, and uh, didn't make a fortune. We had a good, pretty good run along the way anyway, but very sad when Holden's folded up. But um, totally lost interest in the whole situation yeah. now, yeah. which I sort of can't get back. No, no. I think uh, a lot of people feel the same, like Australia as a country has changed. Was, and I wouldn't say for the better. It was one of the worst no. things that happened to yeah. Australia. Yeah, well, generally we don't make cars at all anymore no. in Australia also. Our manufacturing has changed, has stopped. Yeah. Um, in a lot of ways, Australia's gone backwards. With, that's true. And it should never have lost its, its motor industry. Well, mm. it's been mm. famous for few things, but the Hills Hoist and the Victor Mower. And the Ute. And the yeah. Ute. Yeah, yeah there's a, the Australia's Ute. the Ute. And we, we invented the, 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 the wine cask. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So it's been a clever country. Oh, we are a clever country, and yeah. we're still probably very clever in other ways, but mm. we don't have our car manufacturing industry at all. No. We don't make anything in, in Australia anymore, which is a tragedy. Because we, yeah, we had it, you know. Australia's wide open like it was back in the 40s, mm, mm. before it's, the last war. Actually, you can look at pictures. I've, I'm on, 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 a fa on a few Facebook sites of like old Melbourne or, or Motor Scenes Australia, and, and it talk, shows pictures in the 1950s, and it's like, you try and spot the non-Holden. It's no. quite amazing, like everybody had yeah, those, yeah. those cars. Yeah. And you know, to say uh, we supported our own industry, I suppose the people were proud of the product and they loved, you know, a friend of mine said any time a, a new Holden was, was going to be, you know, released, it was almost like a public holiday was declared. Oh, no, you know, it, it was, was huge. July was in Warrandyte when the first one came. You're talking about the, 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 the FX? Yeah. The 48215. It was a grey one. Right. Yeah. And you saw it coming down the road or what? What's yeah, the story? They stopped outside the service station where I was working. Right. Yeah. And did you gather around? People were around it like bees around a <laughs> honey pot. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I can see it even to this day. It was grey. How beautiful. Mm. How beautiful. Actually, you made some special projects in the Hughes Brothers collection, there was the HR convertible. Yes. There was oh. a, the, stretch, the stretch limo. Yeah, limo. I've got it in that car from, um, oh, what's his name from West, South Australia? Don oh, Don Loughlin. Yeah. 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 Well, there's a man who's really you, done you, a lot Have you got the photo of that? I've got the books. I've got the books. I'll have, got, to, I'll have to read it. Well, I'll you can it, yes. you can put it's in in one of the I think one of the last issues. Okay. Of the um, uh, wagon. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the wagon we b rebuilt. Yeah, yeah. And you're talking about the 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 you're talking about the HR. You're talking about the FX. No, the FX okay. we rebuilt and the HR stretch. Yeah, the stretch. And the. Uh, and the. Um, the convertible? Convertible. Yeah, the HR. special ones, yeah. yeah. The, the special projects. Yeah. You know. So why and did we're you... all built in that little uh... in that shed. Yeah. In the in the carport. So why did you build the HR convertible? Why'd you make a convertible? Well <coughs> we come across a body that had been uh, bashed mm. in the roof. It, I think it had a tree or something fell on it and yeah. the floor pan was in perfect condition so we decided to make it into a convertible mm. right right yeah. but it never ever had a collapsible roof to it no just a no. Just yeah a so it wasn't a convertible it was a roadster yeah because yeah. it had no roof did yeah. it? right okay mm. uh, so what about the what made you build a stretch limo hr why is you know, that? It's just another one of our... <laughs> a fantasy? <laughs> fantasy. Fantasy. <laughs> yeah. Fantasy land. Yeah. But, you know, you put a television in that thing, I think. Yeah, it had a television and all in it, yeah. Wow, okay, so it was very elegant, you know. Yeah. And what about, and so why, then the FX, I can remember your term, you said to me, you said yeah. to me, and I'm not going to hold back here, you said, 
If it wasn't such a rare car, it should have gone to the knackery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. You know, I remember... Al's <laughs> got it out of the Blackberries over at Essendon. Right. Yeah. I forget what we paid for it, but it was probably too much. Right. Well, <laughs> you probably get it back about 10 times more now, or 100,000 yeah. times more now. I think it's over in Western Australia. Right, okay. I don't know. Yeah, Al, I can remember, had all these expressions which I used to just love. Mm. You know, they're really... Craig, Travis and I, we still talk about it. Oh, as right. rare as rocking horse shit. <laughs> <laughs> When an old grey motor yeah. couldn't pull the skin off a custard. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a few others you should yeah. yeah, there'd be some for not exhibition. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably zipping his mouth, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, you know, so in the end, you're sitting here in your, um, in your senior years enjoying the good memories. Mm. Being a bit sad about the not so good ones, but at least you've got the good ones to, yeah. to, to hold on yeah. to, and, and the friendships and the experience, the journey. Oh, yeah. yes. That's right. yeah, it was you know, a wonderful yeah. journey. If somebody was to make a movie, it'd be a pretty good film to watch. Yeah. You know, these, two, these two brothers and their partners and their wives trying to do something which they believe in. Yeah. You know, it's the classic Aussie battler, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And, and doing it. and against all odds, still persisted and persisted and persisted. Yeah. And still, you know, you didn't win tax lotto in the end. No. You know, no. but you still believed in, in what you were doing. I still never know how it was done, but <coughs> so only for the help of Cheryl, I'll say it again. And June. And mm -hmm. June. And David. And, and, and Robbie. And David and Rob. Yeah. We, he was a bit of a handful at times. Mm. <laughs> But anyway, we, we fought through it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So it's a, it's a really great story, mm. you know. So personally, I'm thanking you here, and I wanted to document this to, to so that everybody could see this story, mm. hear the story, mm. and witness, you know, firsthand your thoughts and feelings about the whole experience. A, yeah, it's, I mean, a, it's probably a heck of a lot more that could be filled in, but... Uh, you don't want any swear words. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> you need, a, need a, another hour's blast of film. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you think about something, we can come back and shoot some more. You know, yeah. so that's the, that's the story. But uh, yeah. so, you know. But that's a nice history of survival. It is, it is. That's a great yeah. story. Yeah. Yeah, we had, we had some wonderful times, as you say, and made a lot of friends and Lovely met a lot people. of people and mm. and all that and, uh, and and it was not just local people these are people around australia yeah know, and, and rural rural places you know the, the, the holders of age people and those sort yeah. of things and, yeah. you know and you meet a lot of in, <laughs> oh uh, yeah we had we had a terrific interest in the situation mm. and I, I one of my proudest moments when i was still involved heavily in my car club, the FEC, when we dragged you to our nationals, 19, oh, yes. 1997 one, that was, one, Mildura. Mildura, mm. that was a lovely weekend. Yep, so we're very proud to have you as, yeah. as our guests, you know, do you remember that? Vaguely, I've got yeah. a lot of, got a, got a photo of, a lot of uh, things. A photo of us all on the steamboat, That's I right. think. Yeah, I remember. With Val all and the... Chips. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember this. Well, we were on the, on on the like, Murray and yeah. it was fabulous and we... we, we yeah, because Chips was a marvellous operator and a big help in a lot of ways mm. with different things. Um, actually, I found the city of Mildura was fabulous. Like, they, they were very accommodating. We were able to drive in the mall and have a dis yeah, yeah, that's display right. there. That's right. yeah. I got support from the local Holden dealers, financial support. Uh, Rare Spares supported us. Um, these are for trophies and things, and and the media was there. They covered it, both mm -hmm. film, uh, like you know, news coverage and printed media. So it was really fabulous. Yeah, a very exciting time that it was. It was a good weekend, mm. Mm. and the weather was great. It was. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I remember yeah. we were up there in the UC Tirana. Yes, that little Tirana. Sure. Yeah, 
I got that in from the brothers in Lilydale. And did you drive up to Mildura or did did Al? Yeah, drive? we drove. Uh, we, drive. Well, I think we both swapped, shared the driving. Shared the driving. With, yeah. With my car. I was going to say. Cheryl's car, yes. Yeah, <laughs> Don't you see him like that. <laughs> I didn't have a car. I, I, I'm forgetting now what happened. To well, she fell in car. love with that Tirana. Uh, and it was well, a lovely car, though. Yeah, the was boy, it the was the manual car, or auto? Automatic, yeah. Mm. And um, I was working later years for car, um, used car boys up in Lilydale, the Cascianelli brothers. Right. And um, I, had, I was driving the wagon, I think, in those days to get to from Warrandyte up to Lilydale for working with them. And, um, and I got there, I walked into the yard, and right in the front was this brown Tirana. Oh, mm. oh, I love it. It had your name That's on it. A, yeah, and I went here, I said, How much is the Tirana? I think they gave me a discount. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> so I worked for them for a while. Yeah, oh, so they gave me an employee's discount. How about yeah, that? So. But yeah, through the Hughes brothers, I've been involved a, a lot in cars and knowing different models. and. So you, you, got, the, you got the bug? I got the bug, we, yeah. We were hard going brothers. Keeping up with the girls had to keep up with ah. two hard-going blokes. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. it sounds like it was a great team all together. I'm trying to think, what's, what's that uh, thing I put up in the school? In oh, the, the time capsule? Yeah, we ended up in it, Dave and I, and, and I think the girls were in it, I ended mean, up in the time capsule in General Motors. Too when they had their show on down there. Up in okay. Okay. The Warrenite School. Yeah. Where Al went to school. My five girls went to school there, and um, and I was the um, president of the girl guides at Warrenite this this particular time, and uh, I had to sign. Um, my, I had my name in the time capsule, which is to be opened. Mm. I don't know when. when. But, but, but it's been locked away in the wall yeah. of the, of the uh, old school. So uh, it'll have probably a bit of hold and stuff, stuff in, in it. it. Yeah, okay. At the time capsule down at General Motors, when they had a show down there. Maybe the 50th anniversary, they would have done something? I don't know. It was it? They had a big show down there. That would have we been the 50th anniversary. We had quite a lot of yeah. cars yeah. down there. Yeah. And then we ended up in the time capsule they like, had down there at the show. Okay. Yeah. Great, great. Before I forget, you've talked about your love of your Toronto. What was your first Holden you ever owned? And when did you get it? My first Holden? That you ever owned? That, that was the FC. It was an FC? Yeah. And what year did you buy it? Oh, God, I couldn't tell you now. Was, it, it, it wouldn't have been... Wouldn't have been... Uh, because I think he traded it in after a couple of years. It might have been, when did they come out? 56 or something? No, no 58, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, 58. Yeah, it could have been about 1960. Right, so it was a two-year-old car. Yeah. And so in 1960, you would have been 30. Yeah. 30, not quite 30. Mm. Hang on, you bought in 1930? Yeah. 1930. And yeah. in 1960? Yeah. Yeah, you would have been 30, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you would have been very proud 30 man, yeah. year old man. It was, it was a second hand one when I got it. What colour? Yeah, white and blue. White body, blue flash? Blue flash. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Blue and black interior? No, the, the blue, blue and white, I think. Okay, a white yeah. insert on the, the... No, black, no white, I'm black, and, black and blue. Yeah, black and blue. Yeah. Any, you were right. any accessories? Do you remember? Radio, heater, or anything like that? No, not a great deal, no. It was just the basic car. Mackenzie got it up. A, a McCann was traded in by a Mr. Mackenzie. Not from Mackenzie's Menthoids. M E N T H O R E D S. I've got a shocking memory for that. Yeah. 
just a bit of personal history. The panel van, the FC panel van, which I luckily own, courtesy of buying it off Hughes Brothers. Um, what's the history of that panel van? Who owned it first? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of the man's name. He was this um, post post uh, office manager in Warrandyte. I can't remember. It was over in uh, uh, not Kangaroo Ground. What's the next place on from Kangaroo Ground? Well, there's Eltham Way. Elson Kangaroo Ground. Down Creek? No, f further on where Jill Holyoke had her. Uh, Christmas Hills? King Lake? No, before then. Right. Panton Hills. Okay. He, he lived over there and we bought it from him in Panton Hills. So he was a posty, was he? He was the postman in. Yeah, I forgot his name though. Did he run the post office? Yeah. Did he have a youngish wife? No, I don't think. He was an elderly no. person with a limp, I think. Not him. Um, no, I forgot his name. Not I Prince. Think. No, I know the post office when it was down in. Um, Opposite the pub. No. Opposite the. No, pub. the one in Warren, further up, where Les Gilholm had his shop. Yeah, that was a bit opposite the near the Gospel Hall. No. The post office down there, with where you walked up the couple of steps in the veranda and you walked in. No, not the Gospel Hall. No, near the Gospel Hall. No, but no, it was further up from that. From, from Gert Robs, it was a, all those new buildings that they put up there. Hmm. Well, either way, yeah, so either. the panel van owned by the postie, yeah. the post office, and then you bought it off him. What, when did you buy it? Do you remember? How long have you had it, in other words? No, oh, I don't know that we had it that long. Probably... So you bought it in the 90s, yeah. the 1990s. Yeah. Okay. When did you get it? Uh, good question. Um, I think 2004. 2004, I've still got a receipt. Oh, and I reckon yeah. it's around 2004, so we're bordering 18 years now. Yeah. Oh. Crikey. Doesn't time fly when yeah. you're yeah. having fun. Yeah. So that was your display car at the pottery. You used to put this, you had some yeah. signage put on it. Yeah. There you go, pottery. Oh. used to drive it in and out, I think, from the thing. Uh, that signage is still on the car. I mean, I haven't touched it. The stupid thing about it is I can see the man, but I can't think of his name. It'll come to you eventually. Memory's good. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. We'll remember at 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Wake me up. So, right, it was... <laughs> oh, that's been a very nice interview with you, Mr. Warner, anyway. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Hughes. Mrs. Hughes. Oh, thank you. It's been, <laughs> it's been a delight, and yeah. I really appreciate it. It's been quite different, anyway, for, to do an interview like this, anyhow. It was easy. We're just yeah. telling what we say. You know, we're, we're calling it as it's we are. The remember. only trouble is, that, see, the, the old memory doesn't remember the, the, the dates and things Maybe like not so, that. Maybe not so, but you've covered things very nicely. I think we're all sort of... There's probably out. quite a few other things that have missed out on covering. But you remember at one o'clock in the morning and say, oh, I should have said this, I should have said this. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's been fabulous. So thank you very much. And here's to the... Journey may continue as long as it can continue. Yes. It's as simple as that, all right? Thank you, John. God bless you. Yeah. You're very, you're very uh, I must say, Mr. Warner, it's been lovely knowing you all yeah, these that's years a long time. anyway. Ditto, yeah, ditto. Because that, uh, I played day the day Golden day. Wedding. Without, without good people like you, we, we wouldn't have been able to carry on anyway. Thank you very much. So mm. Thank you, yes. All right, you so can answer your phone. That's the landline that they get the uh, the young ones to answer. Oh, right. Yeah, I only, we only answer if it's.